Oh boy, oh boy. If you are not upset about this, if you are just going to be defending Sony after everything that they have recently been doing, we can let $70 games slide, but once we start talking about $65 pieces of plastic, once we start talking about controllers going up in price and so on and so forth, now you look at this PlayStation Plus membership news, and new pricing changes to PlayStation Plus 12-month plans. Kind of interesting wording there. No, the prices are going up across the board. Now, initially, when I had read this, I thought that, oh, it's just PlayStation Plus Essential is going up in price. I guess they want to get you onto PlayStation Plus extra and premium but no every tier is going up in price and it is an abomination because this is a significant price increase across all tiers now first of all they also revealed the playstation plus essential titles for the month of september and this is one of the worst months that i've ever seen with the playstation plus essentials catalog saints row 2022 which we talked about this in a different video and everybody i think crapped on it in the comments section i was like shocked like i figured some people would be like all right it's a 2022 game we're just getting it with plus maybe that's something to be happy about but um yeah that's memes black desert traveler edition like i mean black desert's been around for so long that all right you got some in-game items with the traveler edition too and then generation zero which to be fair is a game that got absolutely panned at launch but got significantly updated over the course of you know for a while and it's a much better game now and as a you know nice little co-op title fine that that that's an okay addition but to go with the crappy month that they're dropping here with playstation plus essential they're like nah bro that's not enough to upset people let's go with the new pricing changes baby so we talked about it briefly in our other video today but let's break it down for you guys again so this is the 12 month subscription plans for every single tier the month to month plan and the three month subscription plans are going to remain the same price however if that's your argument on why this is good uh, or why you can defend it first of all you know if you're going plus essential plus extra or plus premium you're probably getting the year plan if you're watching our videos where we're trying to save money here you're probably going the 12 month plan because if you're paying ten dollars a month for plus essential you're paying 120 over the course of a year like come on man nobody's doing that um or I, I say nobody with such definitiveness. Yes, there's people out there doing that, but nobody watching our video should be doing that. PlayStation Plus Extra, same thing. You usually would be paying the $100 a year, plus premium, you'd be paying the $120 a year. But now, it's not gonna be uh, $60 a year for Plus Essential. It's not gonna be $100 for Plus Extra. It's not gonna be $120 for Plus Premium. Rather, PlayStation Plus Essential, with this crappy lineup, mind you, is going up to $80. $60 to $80. That's a 33% increase. Yes, while Sony's going to be up in this price, I can do second grade level math, so that is going to be a little bit beneficial for us. But $80 a year for Plus Essential, so take that into account. That's significant for a subscription service that you're going to have to have just to play online games anyway. Screw the free games every year. If they're going to retain in quality, and by the way, Sony, you didn't do a good job in uh, justifying that the quality is going to be increased or even sustained with the lineup this month, which I don't want to crap on all these games, but, co but come on, man. These games ain't justifying an increased price range. Um, so $80 a year for Plus Essential, plus extra, which let's be real, I've been very high on Plus Extra. I think it's been a great value service. I think it offers a lot of great games, and I think the monthly catalog updates have been pretty decent. At the end of the day, Sony is not offering you day one first party titles, and I understand why they're not. They want $70 a pop for their Horizons, for their God of Wars, for their Spider-Mans, and I can understand that, but... $100 a year for the back catalog of Plus Extra titles, I can kind of understand that, uh, but now this is going up to $135, and given that Plus Extra has had a pretty decent lineup, and what Plus Extra has had, I don't really see that substantially increasing in terms of quality. What I could see is maybe they'll get a couple more, you know, uh, a couple more day one smaller titles like the Sea of Stars, like the Chias of the World, like the Strays of the World, and those would be nice to see. Now, I was hoping that we were just going to get those games with our $100 a year since, you know, you're getting $100 a year, you've got a sizable amount of subscription service, uh, subscribers, I should say, to Plus Extra. You know, that's not that tall of an ask, and that would really incentivize people to stay subscribed at a hundred and uh, to uh, at a hundred dollars a year, which is a significant amount, mind you. Still, uh, what does that work out to? Like eight dollars and twenty-five cents a month, or something like that. Like you're still get, uh, collecting a sizable amount of revenue. The back catalog titles, couple of day one titles like a Sea of Stars, Stray. I think that would have been worth a hundred dollars a year. But uh, yeah, now it's going up to one thirty-five, a hundred to hundred and thirty-five. That's a sizable increase there. And then PlayStation Plus. Premium getting the biggest price jump 
This used to be $120 a year. Now it's going all the way up to $160 a year. And this is probably the most jarring change because PlayStation Plus Premium has been the one everybody's been complaining about because the value hasn't been there. No! 45-minute Hogwarts Legacy Trials ain't it. That ain't gonna get people to sign up for $160 a year. We get these trials of games that uh, drop four months after the game comes out. Why is a God of War Ragnarok trial being added three months after the release of the game? I don't know. Why is the trial at least not available like right out the gate when the game drops so they can play it for a little while? People are gonna be like, oh, the trial gives people uh, a second chance to try the game and it gives the game a second time to be promoted. I don't care about the promotion. I care about the value that the service offers and the value right now with 45 minute Hogwarts Legacy trials ain't it. And let's talk about why most people sign up to Plus Premium. It's for the Classics titles. And the Classics titles thus far have been pretty terrible. Uh, you know, the, the, to be fair, in recent months, they have been adding a couple more games. You know, you get two to three games a month, which is great. But I would have been okay with the Plus Premium price increase if, and this is a big if, if PlayStation 3 emulation and backwards compatibility were all added in one swing and you get a catalog of PS3 titles with Plus Premium. If that was the case, okay, I would be down bad enough where I'll be like, all right, just let me play my Infamous. Let me play my Infamous. Let me play my Killzone 2. Let me play my uh, 3D Doc Game Heroes if you can add that game. Let me play my Final Fantasy 13s of the world. And uh, you know what? You might get my 160 a year because I'll be down bad enough for the 160 a year. But right now, what they're doing is you're going to get Blade Dancer Lineage of the Light and you're going to like it and you're going to pay 160 a year. I mean, you don't have to pay 160 a year. But I digress. Like, you look at the premium catalog right now and there's definitely some decent titles in there. Siphon Filter and whatnot there's certainly some decent titles in there but i wouldn't say the quality level justifies a price increase on plus premium like at the very least brother give us some decent games first and then up the prices of all of this and show us the value proposition for all of the tiers and again when you look at the plus essential price increase you're giving us one of the worst months in plus essential recent history and you're upping the price as well like what i cannot even comprehend what is going on right now and hopefully at the very least plus extra is getting a significant bump in price as is plus premium hopefully let us hope that uh you know those services will get some solid uh, additions this month because when you look at the other side look at game pass look at what game pass is getting in september they are getting Starfield. They are getting Lies of P. I am probably forgetting another game. Payday 3, I believe, is Game Pass Day 1. All three of those games, and that is a service that, yes, that did recently go up in price, but it was a couple dollars, and it just offers you so much more value, and now plus extra is going up in price. What are we going to get in September? Are we going to get a Payday 3 in September? Let's hope, because if you're going to be up upping the price of it this significantly, you should be offering a Payday 3. You should be offering a Lies of P games at that caliber like Game Pass is doing if you want to do, if you do want to go to this price rating. But that's my two cents. I think a lot of you guys are going to disagree with me on this. I think some of you guys uh, are going to have the PlayStation blinders on, but, you know, this is my two cents. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always, sound off there. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.